Anything you want to say to Mom? Just tell her we miss her and to hurry back. The Shady Rest. <laughs> yeah? This is the Shady Rest. <laughs> I'm looking for my daddy. Your daddy? Yes, I'm Millicent Marshall. Oh, your daddy must be Mr. Marshall. Uh, <laughs> yes, he's upstairs. Oh, won't you go in? All right. This is my sister, Billy Jo. Hello. How do you do? to register, Ms. Marshall? You'll be in room number five, right next to your father. I left my luggage down at the stop. I looked all over for a red cap, but I couldn't find one. <laughs> well, we'll take care of it. Oh, I separated the suitcases. The five pieces on the left I'll need right away. The larger pile can wait. <laughs> Daddy! My little girl. Wilson, I thought you'd never get here, honey. Oh, oh, come on down here and let Daddy have a look at you. Let's see now. You just look great, oh, sugar. Thank you. Daddy, why did you bring me way out here? It's so isolated, so, so Dollsville. No, oh, baby doll, one day this land will all belong to you. I realize that, Daddy, dear, but still and all, when I think of myself... Mm, yes? Yes, dear? <sighs> Never mind, Daddy. Suddenly it's not Dollsville anymore. Oh, Governor Melson, this is Mr. Carson. Howdy. <laughs> and uh, this is Mr. Carson's partner, Steve Elliott. How do you do? Hi. Uh, Steve's a crop duster. He's going to take me up in his plane to look over my acreage. Oh, Daddy, could I come too? Well, of course you can, right? Yes, sir. I'll go get the things ready for the flight. <laughs> uh, sir, my plane is just a two-seater. Uh, uh, oh, I'm sure Millicent will have no trouble in squeezing in. <laughs> That's one of the things I do best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, well, uh, surely we can work out something, boy. Oh, I'm sure we can. I'll just get into something more comfy. I'll be right back. Well, sir, I'll be glad to show you around. Oh, fine, fine. What are we going to do about our suitcases? Do you think they'd be too heavy to carry to the top of the water tower? <laughs> That's the way I feel. The water tower of all things. I think it'd be easier to dump in Zippo's hog pond. <laughs> How many places shall I set? It all depends on that female barracuda. She's probably not hungry after eating Steve a lot. Isn't she kind of a menace? No worse than the bubonic plague. <laughs> Well, that's pretty bad. <laughs> yes, it is. I wonder what Betty Jo is going to think. Hey, where is everybody? I don't know, but there she is. We may find out soon. Oh, my gosh. Well, what are we going to say? Now, nothing if we can help it. This is strictly a matter between her and Steve. Right. Hi. You ought to see who Steve is with. <laughs> Uh, nothing. Mr. Marshall insisted that Steve fly them over his land. Steve really had nothing to do with it. I know. Poor darling. Actually, I forced him to. He was good. You did? Mm -hmm. well, I practically made him be an apple polisher. Do anything to get in good. Did he seem very unhappy when he left? Are you kidding? <laughs> I mean, he was bearing up very well. Considering. Considering what? Uh, Betty had to share a seat. <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> share a seat with whom? Well, uh, you see, Mr. Marshall had his little girl with him. Oh, he shared with her. That's nice. Steve's very fond of little girls, but I guess you've noticed that. <laughs> we did this time. <laughs> what is the little girl, Tin? Twelve? Fourteen? <laughs> That's as far as I care to go. It's wrong, 38. 38? 38, 24, 34. You're kidding. Oh, please tell me you're kidding. Hey, everybody, we're back. Did you see her? I mean, really. Why, well, she's... She's... Oh, I just hate that in a garden. Go ahead. Hi. Say, be a good 
kid and lay out a clean white shirt in my dark suit, will you? Important engagement? Well, in a way, I've got to fly the marshals up to Riverdale for dinner. Oh, good. Maybe we can eat at our favorite restaurant. Well, honey, I'm stuck with just taking the marshals. The marshals? Well, yeah, Mr. Marshall and his little girl. Little girl? Well, that's, that's what he calls her, his, his little girl. Steve, I think you should know. I happen to see her. <laughs> Not a little girl. <laughs> Not a little girl. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm stuck with taking him up there. Stuck? You mean like a tight seating arrangement? Honey. Oh, why do they have to go there for dinner anyhow? Well, because they don't want to eat at the Shady Rest. Figures. Why do you have to be the one to fly them there? Mr. Marshall asked me. Well, just tell Mr. Marshall to forget it. Remember that you were the one that was all for the apple polishing. Yes, apple polishing. Not tomato polishing. <laughs> well, I can forget the whole job if you want. Well, how can you forget it when you've already signed the contract? I haven't signed the contract yet. Oh. I could very easily say, Mr. Marshall, I'm sorry, but I won't be able to go to work for you. You do that. Because I have a very jealous wife who won't let me. How dare you? Don't say that! <laughs> Sorry, dear. You go ahead. That's a good girl. Hi, dear. Uncle John. Sure was a good breakfast you girls cook. Steve! Oh, hi. Has anyone here seen Steve? Not me. Me neither. He's down for a parish act. <laughs> oh, I hope he's not too busy. I wanted him to take me to town so I could have my hair done. Oh, uh, uh, this is his busy day. I'm very busy. <laughs> oh, dear. Kids, he ain't that busy. He can take time out anytime to fly you anywhere you want to go. Oh, that'll be wonderful. <laughs> hey, watch it, Billy Joe. Sorry, Joe. Would you mind telling him I'll be ready to leave in about an hour? I'll go right down there now and give him the word. <laughs> You're an awfully sweet man. Yeah. <laughs> that uncle of yours is too adorable for words. Yeah, for words. <laughs> Designing Phoenix. Yeah, and the designs are all over Steve. <laughs> the billboard. Poor Betty Jo. Hi. Hi. We've been just talking about you. Betty Jo. Golly, when people come in, you don't say, Hi, we weren't just talking about you. That's okay. The way things are going now, what else would you be talking about? Have you seen my friend? Well, I guess we may as well tell you. She was just in here asking for Steve. She wants him to fly her into town so she can get her hair done. Oh, no. I've got to do something to combat this. We've got some glue and a bunch of feathers in the chicken coop. <laughs> trying to help. <laughs> I think the only thing you can do is remind Steve that he's a married man. Yeah, he hasn't been married very long. Maybe he could use a reminder. Yeah. <laughs> 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 